Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. This is for the add-on Ring Array, found on your right menu button. And it does exactly as you'd expect. It creates rings of objects, be them meshes, lights, cameras, well, whatever you like. It, it's a, a very quick, simple and uh, very user-friendly way of, of making, uh, well, rings of objects. Now, please bear in mind that it is not a modifier. You can make ring arrays with modifiers. It tends to be a bit fiddly, however. The um, normal way of making things is to make a modifier with an array modifier and then add a secondary modifier, which is a curve modifier, for which you'll have to supply it a curve ring to bend things around to. And that is the key to that one. It actually bends objects, which is rarely, rarely what you want to do. There is a secondary way of doing it, which is also in the array modifier, which allows you to select a secondary object as an axis. But again, this, this is just fiddly way of doing things when essentially all you want to do is just plop around a ring of objects. Right then, let's walk you through the day-to-day uh, -day usage of this thing. Create an array and it looks a bit daunting at first sight when you look at this, but it's broken into three sections deliberately. The main section being pretty much 99% of what I use it for, and I'm sure you'd be using it for as well. The radius, the count, and um, offset so it allows you to slide things to position them better, and resize, which I, I find surprisingly useful, actually. Auto axis, um, that makes sure that when you are in, oh, auto axis on, uh, it detects the view that you're looking in and aligns the array to that. That's the axis of your array. And that's pretty much it for the, the main simple stuff there. Let's create another ring array here and go through the options. Now, apply transform. This is probably not the best object to be showing that with, so I'll get back to it. Delete original does the obvious. And create parent. Now, that because we're working in linked data here, um, that generates a, an awful lot of objects if you're working with, with hundreds of things in an array. So we have the option of create parent, which tidies things up in the outliner and also has the added benefit, benefit, benefit of uh, giving you a, a visual gizmo so you can see where you are. Now then, let's get back one last stage to another aspect of this. Uh, not grid cut. Look at that, a free plug for another one. And ring array. Let's turn off wireframe. Create parent off. And finally, merge objects, which I'll be honest is how I usually work. I like to commit as early as possible. And that has all the aspects of everything else, but it gives you one object at the end. The only downside to this is you can't manipulate all the objects simultaneously. But um, again, that, that's that's up to, to how you generally work. It's uh, it's designed with you in mind, believe it or not. And I think that is, yeah, that's about it for now. A nice, simple way of creating arrays. Oh, there is one last um, little hidden feature to this. Uh, an Easter egg, if you like. And that is the ability to do live booleans. Something I like to do because, well, we are very visual people after all. So we... Um, find it a lot easier to work with something where we can see the end result as we're working. Um, it is, like I say, a bit of a hidden feature to this one, and it does require a, a couple of caveats. One of them being that you have only meshes selected and only two of them. The first one being your target, and the second one being the array of objects that you're going to work with. Then click Ring Array, and it automatically detects the scenario that you have and uh, creates booleans for you on the fly. Um, this this I love because you can see, you get an actual representation of where you're going. Um, because things like this could happen. Let, let, let's, there you go. It starts to become a mess automatic, already there. And to be able to pre-gauge anything that was going to cause a problem is a huge benefit, a huge benefit indeed. And um, yeah, I, I just really like working that way. It can be a bit mind-bendy, <laughs> and uh, 
I, I, I understand that, which is why it is kept as a, as a hidden feature. But uh, do feel free to experiment there. Otherwise, as I say, it's uh, just a nice, simple, quick way to create rings of things whenever, whenever you need to without fiddling around with bloody modifiers. Okay, I uh, hope you like it. And thank you again for now. Bye-bye.